Hey guys, this is the Tunator and this is Skyrim Mod Showcase Episode 2. Actually, hold on, let me just tweak the auto real quick. I think the music might be a bit loud. Anyways, uh, uh, as you have no don't notice, this is a Skyrim Mod video, not a New Vegas Mod video. I still plan on doing New Vegas Mod videos, it's just that there, I had so much fun doing the Skyrim ones last week, and there was uh, not such interest in it that I decided I would do Skyrim videos again this week. So, uh, before I get in, let me just uh, say that there were a couple mo more mods that I wanted to do, but unfortunately, due to some conflicts, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to try and get them to work, but uh, they may not, so we're either going to have five or seven mods. Uh, I'll explain at the end if I had to leave any out. So anyways, uh, without further ado, the first mod, as you all not have, don't, no doubt have noticed, is uh, this sword right here. It's uh, not in the game. It, it's not a normal sword, one that you can normally get. It's I believe it's called the, uh, the Knight Sword, and it's part of the, the Jesus uh, Sword uh, mod, which adds around 40 new weapons to the game. I believe there is an equivalent mod for, uh, yep, Knight's Great Sword. There, there was a mod like that actually for New Vegas, some of you may remember that I did, which added a whole bunch of swords, uh, kind of medieval looking swords, so he's, he's done a mod already for New Vegas, which just adds a, a whole ton of really uh, cool looking weapons that all fit right perfectly in with the universe, uh, no problems. They all look, you know, very medieval, so this is the, the Knight's Sword, uh, two, there's just one of many. I wasn't able, I don't have all of them in my inventory, uh, showing 40 would, would take a little while, and uh, I also, quite frankly, uh, didn't have enough uh, materials to craft everything, because they're all craftable, so that's cool, is you, you have to actually earn them, and some of them can actually be quite hard to make, but I'll just show you the ones I do have. Uh, oop, crap. I'm going to show them mostly from third person, but give you a, third, a first person look as well. Oop, right, sorry, I forgot that happened, so we'll run through some of them in first person, and then we'll go through in uh, third person. Dragon Bane is not, that comes from the normal main quest. So. It's not really much point to swing them, I suppose. It's not exactly like a New Vegas where you can actually see weapons that have different effects when you use them. This, I think, is a blade for one of the, the Daedric people, or Daedric princes, or princesses, I guess, in this case. I'm not really too up on the uh, Skyrim lore, so if I'm wrong, someone more knowledgeable, please correct me. So yeah, this one we gotta go under to a free camera for. This is a big Akaji two-handed blade, and again, all these weapons look very, very much so in keeping with the existing aesthetic of the game, so it fits in perfectly as a mod, which I think is, is very cool. So, uh, let's look at some other ones. Let's look at the, uh, the ones I just showed you again, but in third person. You can see this very, uh, bizarre, uh, ornate handle on this one. It's pretty typ uh, typical of danger weapons, though, from what I get. This is a really cool scimitar type one. This list of my, one might be my favorite. If you look at the, kind of the ornamenting on the handle, or the hilt there. Uh, let's go out of free camera. Well, let's just look at this one in first person. You can see this one's just really freaking cool. And we'll just go through a few more. Uh, it really increases the weapon variety, especially when you consider that like 40 swords is, I think, quite possibly more, or 40 movements might even be more than it was in the game to begin with, or were in the game to begin with, rather. So, uh, it's really quite a significant addition when you think about it. Kajit Sabra is new. I can know some more uh, scimitars, which are very cool looking weapons. I believe they were common in Morrowind, although I may be wrong, but that's what I've been told. I think, anyways. And again, this looks very, really, really nice detail on all these weapons. Like, these all look great. These are not half-assed in any way. This guy does very good work, and he has continued to do so with this mod. Mod, he's a little kind of basket-hilted rapier type thing there. I think that might be all the ones I have in... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'll show you the rest of them. It's just I don't have them all in my inventory right now, which I get apologies for, but... There you have it. Uh, See, so yeah, again, all these mod, all these weapons are very, very well detailed. They look great within the uh, existing game. And in general, pretty fantastic. So I'll show you the rest of them. They're all in the Skyforge. Under the steel section, so you can see just... Uh, Andrew, it's not from this, it's from the mod I did last week, if you're curious. So just a 
whole bunch of weapons. A lot of them are actually uh, fairly involved to make. Oh, I can make the actual way I'm doing now. Huh. I had a ton of crap. Uh, it's very cool. I'm gonna do it like that. Some of these are, you know, very exotic-looking weapons, which is very cool. So yeah, overall, it just adds a lot of really nice uh, variety to your game, and as such, uh, it's definitely one I would recommend downloading. Get this really. Uh, they're, they're all quite balanced, uh, and they look fantastic, and just adds more open variety, so why not? Uh, and I should probably explain this now. <laughs> a lot of you are probably already familiar with this, but for those of you who aren't, uh, the reason this mud crab is wearing a monocle and a top hat is because of the Posh Mud Crabs mod, which gives every mud crab in the game a monocle and a top hat. So let's uh, resurrect him. We'll give him a lot of health. So he's going to just die right away. For some reason, Erwin dies in two hits. I, I really don't know why. Maybe he does more damage when you make him bigger, actually. It's quite possible. So anyways, yeah, you can see... Uh, he's quite big. And if you're wondering how I made him bigger, uh, it's just a... Uh, simple as that. Set scale. So yeah, all the mud crabs are just now very, very fancy. Which it, <laughs> It's a very ridiculous mod, and not exactly one that, uh, you know, looks really good within the existing game, but uh, or in terms of uh, matching the, the aesthetic of this existing Skyrim, but it, it's quite fantastic, and the monocle just makes them look so angry, it's great, like, I love it. And let's make him giant. Yeah, I guess when you make them bigger, they do more damage? Maybe this monkey just does a ton of damage, I don't know, I spawned him out of the console, so, uh... I'm not sure if this is like a normal mud crab or a mud crab on steroids or what, but... Let's kill him again. And yeah, that is the posh mud crab mod. Not very serious, but very, very, very amusing. Some other pretty funny mud crab, mud crab mods out there as well. Like there's a Zoidberg one, uh, which is pretty hilarious. There's one where they just swear at you, so <laughs> there's some good stuff. Alright, uh, the next mod I have to show for you, which again, a lot of you are probably familiar with uh, if you're Elder Scrolls players, is the Midas Magic mod. I think actually I have most of them uh, hotkeyed already, right? Oh no, I didn't. Oops. Uh, and what this is, is basically, uh, I mean, it's hotkey, a bunch of, it's uh, a mod that just adds a whole ton of new spells into the game that just, uh, you know, from varying range from damage spells to summons, and just they're all basically aimed at greatly increasing the amount of uh, spell options available to you, which I think is really cool. So, because it's not, not that the normal spells are limited, but this, uh, there's definitely a brief to it, uh, really increase the amount available, and this uh, does so very much so. So, um, let me just, sorry, I apologize, I thought I already had them. Uh, here, so let's just uh, so, yep. Uh, I lost. Show off a whole bunch of. Now where is Lydia? We're gonna need you for this. So let's, what do we want to start out with? Uh, let's go down the list and you know, toss them all off. Is that a two-handed one? Or maybe not, actually. Let's try that in third person. She's kind of a Kamehameha attack here. She's like a basic, yeah, basically Kamehameha or a hyper beam here. Uh, now since we you know, beat the shit out of Lydia, why don't we heal her? Uh, if I can get to it. Nice 
of it. This is just a heal ray. You can see your HP just shooting back up there, which also does a, a lot of damage to the undead, uh, which we can demonstrate conveniently by summoning this lich. Just, so it's a whole bunch of summons. There's someone who loves summons. I think that's really cool. So, let's see if I can get it to attack me. I was able to earlier, maybe not so now. Huh, oh well. And we'll show some of the other ones. Oh, this is another one of the summoning ones. And it summons a whole bunch of spiders. You can have like 15 at once, I think. So you can have a whole swarm going of mini spiders. Apologies to any viewers who may be arachnophobes, but uh, gotta demonstrate all of them. Missile uh, thing there. Oh, this one's funny. Uh, you can turn people into rabbits and turn them back. Very, very entertaining. Rabbit. Oh, I'll come back here, Lydia. Damn it, Lydia. Jesus, those things are fast. Got her. Yep. And there we are. So yeah, that, that's a very entertaining one. Oh, this one is just... Oh, dear God. This one is nuts. We're talking about Kamehameha attacks. It's pretty much the ultimate version of that. This, this will not leave many things alive after you use this. Uh, what else... Oh yeah, this this one is pretty funny in that it, it just it mod this one of the spells is kind of a, a player home, which is appropriately named the TARDIS. You can just summon it out of nowhere, and it's just a kind of a, a big. I won't show much of it because it's still under development, but it, it's basically just a really big Dwemer home. Basically, you just carry a portable home around with you. Just for those of you who want to store all your crap without having to leave the field, this is for you, and you know it's just a whole big dwarven base kind of thing. Again, I'm fairly certain this portion of the mod is still under development, but it's pretty cool. Got, you know, space cores, all that jazz. Work areas, and it is bigger on the inside, <laughs> fittingly enough, given the name. I was kind of hoping for a, a custom texture for the uh, the box, but no such luck, I suppose. I imagine that would be a ridiculous amount of work, so can't complain. Speaking of dragon slayers, fun dragon mod later on. <laughs> Uh, loading screens, all right. Come on. Oh, that's good. Sorry about the jump there, folks. Had a minor crash. Again, hence the whole unfinished part, but just wanted to show it anyways. So, so I want to show a few more of the, uh, the cooler Midas uh, spells. I mean, they're all pretty cool, don't get me wrong. Yep, that's Force Blast. As you can see, it is... <laughs> fairly powerful, you know, kind of strong. Uh, then there's Force Post, which is... Pretty much all the Force abilities are very cool. Force pull, rather. Sorry, that's force pull. Go cast your fancy magic someplace yeah, else. cry about it, asshole. And then we have force push. Freaking preacher. Reminds me of the the, the crazy uh, 
you know, uh, End of Days Doomsayer and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines in Santa Monica, for any of you who played that, he's, he's very similar. I never killed that guy, I should have. But yeah, you see, it's just... Whoa, 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 bro. Yeah, chill. So, yeah. Uh, you call me, I'll pay off my bed. Yep. They caught me. Wait, Lydia. Lydia, what are you doing? Okay, that's better. Uh, and then the heat beam is just kind of like a... Basically, there's one of these for ice uh, as well. Just, you know, kind of a Cyclops eye laser beam almost. Very cool. And the shapeshift giant, which does pretty much what it says on the tin. Turns you into a giant for 30 seconds. You don't have a weapon, but you can attack people. Uh, and it's just generally pretty cool. You have the earth shaking animations and everything. I'm gonna walk into the center town and shave the next <laughs> Yeah, I'm really afraid of you as a giant, you know, Mr. Mr. White Ringard. So the next mod I have to show for you is just the uh, the Better Werewolves. I think it's it's called it's like I'm not sure I think it's called Better Werewolf on the Steam Workshop. Which I actually I still get all my mods off Nexus, but uh, I was a little poking around on there. Uh, I forget what it's called on uh, Nexus. It's improved werewolves or something like that. It'll be in the description as always. But basically, this makes werewolves. If you, if you think about werewolves in normal Skyrim, is they're very, very powerful, but they die very easily. You're basically a huge glass cannon. You trade off being able to kill almost anything if you play right, to uh, for the uh, the penalty of basically dying if anything attacks you because you have no HP regen and you can't really feed from bodies. It's not effective HP regen. What this does is it makes werewolves just crazy HP regen. You, you scale with level, your, your, your level scale, so your werewolf form is still really strong at the end of the game. Crazy regen on feeding, uh, when you transform, everyone fears. And you know, I'll, just, I'll just show you guys, it's, it's really quite cool. The first thing is you see everyone uh, panics when you go into beast form. And let me turn off god mode, uh, just to show you. Uh, like, oh, hopefully I can get some people to attack me. Uh, Yeah, there's some there's some bugs with it, which I think are probably on my end because I have a whole bunch of things running. And since there's unfortunately no Skyrim editor yet, uh, or S Skyrim equivalent of F NV edit, but yeah, look, I'm like a level 30 character, and look, I'm just crazy regen. They, they can barely even damage me. Uh, or panics all of them except for the guards, because they do level with you, I believe, at least to a degree. But yeah, you can see, and then feeding just gives you like. Ridiculous. I think it's like a, a thousand HP back or something like that. It's just something crazy. Uh, there is also uh, again another uh, weird bug with it. I'm having if if you're uh, I don't know if you noticed it. Just to, uh, just to explain where sometimes the the uh, attack effects don't play. They're still there. Uh, it also this also increases the uh, better world. You have unlimited world pieces. It increases the power of the the other totems, the other two world forms you can use like uh. I don't think I have them, or I forgot to equip them, but I, you can call like more wolves with it. Uh, it basically makes them more powerful. So again, the whole the whole goal is just to make werewolves like ridiculously strong. Uh, you're you're basically it's it's gonna be very hard for for you to die as a werewolf in the with this mod now. Which I just a fair warning. I, if you want challenge, this is probably or a challenge against like you know normal enemies. This may not be the mod you're looking for. Uh, simply because, again, it'll be nearly impossible for you, uh, you to die. But if you just want to be a werewolf and just, you know, kill everything with it, without any real risk of, or without, like, you know, great risk of dying, this is definitely the mod for you. You will just murder everything effortlessly without dying. Which is actually a lot of fun. Uh, no, I don't think I'm here. Oh, yeah, sorry. That was... <laughs> That made no sense. Uh, I apologize. Long day. Uh, I had to try and get the mods to work for like an hour and a half. 
me. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of campaign. I was trying to get some Olivia mod to work, which I can, which kind of just changes the animation stance on the various house girls, so they don't really kind of hold their arms in an awkward way. Which you don't really notice if they're carrying a shield. If you don't carry, if they're not carrying a shield, it actually does look kind of weird. So, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, multiple companion mods actually conflict. So I can't actually get that to work right now. But yeah, basically, uh, this werewolf here, you just you do not fuck with. Uh, and that should be expiring soon. And then I have two more mods for you guys. So I'm sorry, you need to stick around until this. Yep. Uh, here we go. Okay. Cool. Uh, got my back on. Uh, let me get my equipment. Uh, we'll just wear the hat. Let's use, I'll use some Midas magic to kill everyone else, which will be fun. <laughs> uh, and then, let's just run out of white run, because I want to be on the plane in front of the town for the next uh, mod, or the next two mods, but they kind of tie into each other. I'm not sure where Lydia is. Did she die? She might have died. She's kind of unreliable. Or actually, that sounds like her fighting. This is your last mistake. Come And he's fine. Gotta love essential NPCs. Look what you made me. Uh, is Olivia dead? Oh, well, let's leave town and find out. Sorry, I do need her uh, for one of the mods. Let me just kill these people first. So you can kind of see just how absurd this is. Uh, I don't know if you saw the bodies just flying away there, but... Oh, that's Lydia. Shit. Oh, she's not that good. Alright, so... The next one I have to show you guys is called the uh, Deadly Dragon Smile, which is one that, again, a lot of you are probably familiar with. And basically just makes dragons into incredibly lethal killing machines. So let me just clear out these guards. So. Oh, let's bring her back. She might come back with me. She probably will. Yeah, she's gonna come back with her armor. Yep, oh well. Uh, again, I'm having some mod problems there, so... That's unfortunate, but... Can you just... Will we, oh, this will be a good way to get him to go away. Oh, God. Anyways, yeah, Deadly Dragons uh, adds a whole bunch of new dragons to the game. Makes the existing dragons a lot stronger. Uh... Basically, we mix dragons into, you know, really tough boss fights instead of, you know, the not-so-bad things that they are right now. So we're going to spawn some, uh, just to show you. Oop. So the command is player.place at me, uh, to spawn something, and then you enter the code. All the code for all the, uh... The all, all... Oh, sorry, I forgot that code's invalid. Uh, the code for all of the, uh... Dragons can be found in the mod readme. Here, I believe a magma dragon. Just one of the ones added. Let's get some, uh, some Midas spells to fight him with while we do this. Uh, I'm going to be against a fire dragon. And then 
done, kind of get different abilities added. Uh, let's get all the way up to the end of the game with you. Generally, I'll look very cool. It's high res texture replacements for all the dragons. Let's spawn in some more. Uh, Uh, we have a Draco Witch, uh, which is one of the really high level ones. Uh, let me just get rid of this guy. And you can also have, there's a whole bunch of dragon armor and stuff that this adds as well that you can use. Uh, and it also, there is also uh, kind of plugins that can make the dragons, even normal creatures, even harder. Dragon? There's another magma dragon. I think that's a black dragon. So yeah, it just adds a, it kind of replaces uh, some of the existing ones, or that makes some of the existing ones better, and adds a whole bunch of new ones. Yep, that's a black dragon. It has a big fear effect, actually. And just to kind of put into perspective how strong these things are, uh, actually, first I need to do one more thing. Uh, where's Olivia? Let's, uh, the last one I wanted to show you guys is Specialized Companions, which basically uh, makes uh, companions, uh, instead of the normal, you know, kind of bland, generic, you know, they all do the same thing uh, type of fit they are right now. It just gives them, them all specialized perks, you know, specialized attacks, stuff like that, to make them all unique, which is really quite cool. So. Yeah, I apologize, this video has a, I think drag, no, the pacing has not been the best, which, again, that's my bad, but, uh, still getting the hang of this whole Skyrim thing. Anyways, I'm just like, you're still up here, where'd she go? So if I need her to demonstrate this. Yep, there she is, cool. Alright, so, uh, let's see, uh, one of her perks, or, uh, near me for just a word, uh, and not dead. Uh, despawn some of these dragons. Uh, get the magma one too. Just leave the Draco Witch. Come on, Lydia. Save. In case I die. And then uh, I'll turn off Godmo. And find Lydia. Oh, that means I can't move, of course. Or it would if I didn't have this handy Midas spell, which I can use. Show you guys. Been looking for you. Got oh, what the fuck? I've got a letter. Looks like that's it. Have to go. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's my bad. Anyways, uh, I sorry that Lydia is not showing it off. So I'll probably just uh, stop here after doing what I wanted to do. But uh, just to show you how powerful these are by turning into a werewolf, even from frame of reference. Basically, specialized companions. Uh, just changes what every uh, every companion is into, into kind of a more unique state, similar to how in New Vegas they would all grant special perks and uh, things of that nature. So, uh, what every companion basically uh, they have you know kind of differentiated stats to, to set them apart. Like the, all the house carls have very good uh, health, good stamina, no magicka. They're very good at one-handed weapons and shields and heavy armor, but not good at two-handed weapons or as, as for example. And uh, everyone, uh, everyone has different perks. That the house girls get one, where they can uh, 
they can actually uh, heal you when you're at 20% HP or below. You see they can summon crap. Uh, and just everyone has a whole bunch of different uh, two perks apiece, uh, range from you know, helping themselves in combat, you know, to just pure damage stuff, things of that nature. It really sets people apart. So you see, you saw how powerful I was earlier. You see how fast I'm dying now. This, this is how strong these dragons are. As I'm, I'm this ridiculous werewolf with incredible like 300% health regeneration, and they can like kill me in like you know, two hits. It, they're just ridiculously strong. So let me get these guys off. And yeah, again, these were, this is one of the higher level dragons, but even so, they will be a very strong boss fight for you, capable of killing pretty much anyone. Anyways, uh, yep, see, dead. Just instantly, just like that. Anyways, uh, so that's all I have for today. Sorry, that was a bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, had to, you know, kind of pace myself better in the future. But anyways, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Any suggestions, things like that, just, uh, let me know, and I will be sure to possibly uh, take a look at them. Again, I'm still working through my message backlog, but I hope you have all those done soon. And, yeah, if you have any cool Skyrim mods you think I, I should look at, uh, definitely send them as well. I will be most likely doing New Vegas next week, um, unless something really catches my eye, but I, I'm probably going to alternate Skyrim and New Vegas in the future, because I'm really liking some of the Skyrim mods I've seen so far. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the Tune Here. This has been Episode 2 of the Skyrim Mod Showcase, and I will see you all later.